Why is everything so much cuter in miniature form? Look how adorable these little keychains are. So they are of course inspired by the famous pink drink from Starbucks and I am obsessed with how adorable they are. Perfectly sealed so they move but nothing's coming out. The first step for this is painting the straws that come with the kit to be green um, to match the original inspiration. So I use this paint from the Chris Lack Company. Then once that's dry, I'm going to permanently attach that to the lids using UV resin. Uh, make sure you have your appropriate PPE for this. So not your gloves, uh, respirator, all of that because UV resin. Um, and so I'm just gonna cure that for a couple minutes. Um, and then I'm gonna turn them upside down to be safe and cure that again for a couple minutes. The stronger your lamp, the better. The liquid in these keychains is the same as my snow globes, about two thirds that's still water, one third clear glue. And to that I add white and pink paint. I couldn't find a light pink paint in the exact shade of the pink drink. And so I did this combination. So just mix and adjust as needed. Then of course you're also going to need your mini ice cubes and your uh, miniature strawberry slices. And now you can get your fake barista on, um, add the um, ice cubes and strawberry slices to the um, mini tumblers, add your drink, and already looking pretty cool. I fill mine up to about the top. If you want a little bit more movement um, for these keychains, you can fill it a little bit less. <sighs> so cute, just so cute. It's honestly, it's the mini strawberries for me. It is so adorable. <laughs> almost done now you want to clean around the rim make sure there is no liquid in that rim area if there is liquid that can stop the uv resin from curing properly and we do not want leaks so i use rubbing alcohol to clean that then add a uv resin around the limb around the rim and also add some to the lid push down um, and do that for all of the tumblers you're doing So as you push down, um, wipe the excess around just to add an extra seal. Then for extra security, I do go in with a little bit more UV resin around the rim before I cure that again. So again, add that all around just to be safe. The logo size that I did for the decal is 0.75 inches. And in a Cricut, the maximum for the print and cut is 6.75 by 9.25. So I always make a square in that size. That way I can fit as many of whatever I'm cutting um, to the maximum. So attach, flatten, and just make that. I printed mine on waterproof printable vinyl and then I still sealed it after. I don't have video of the beading process, but I use these beads from CNS Emporium. This is a detailed project, but I think it's worth it because they're just so stinking cute. And thankfully my customers like them too.